right there under us right now. Which I don't think is what is marked. Oh, I can see the line. Oh, it is marked. That was crazy. I was able to see the rope in the water. So, was I wrong? Let's see. Let's do this again. Fish underwater. Big old fish. Swimming by. <laughs> All right. Catfish, bro. So, a lot of the times these uh, cars can be seen with the fish finder. A lot of people don't think they can find cars with fish finders. Whoa. What you got? Something big? Well, it, it looked like a Suburban. Oh. You can see the windows and everything. And did they miss it? No, their line's on. It's just on the front of the vehicle. We're around the back of it right now. under us right now so they they are connected to my suburban which is upstream one big vehicle on its on its wheels so the hoods right. the roof of the car is close to the boat Another object. So, I don't know if that's going on here. I would say there's two reasons. But they're so close together, you don't necessarily need to mark them. Alright, let's call that All right. a statement. Drug a vehicle. Where are they? So oh, where did? Car, car, car. And they missed it. Car, right here beneath us. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use this as an op as a All reference right. point. That tree sticking out. I wasn't even looking for a car. I was trying to put it my sonar. I saw the windows and everything. Okay, that tree sticking out. Heck yeah, it is. Yeah, we got lots of logs around the car. Go upstream, like my, my training. My training is go upstream. Right there with that 
Yeah, with the vine hanging down. It looks like a rope. Oh, there's another one. Right there. Yep, look at the tires. Wow. Okay, so 20 feet up from that one. And it looks like another one right there. Two of them. Holy crap. Okay, well, I want to show you all this on the way up. Four cars right there. Wow. Unless those are logs, but I, I swear I saw tires. <laughs> I saw tires. They seem like right side up or upside down? Upside down. Wow. Okay, so let's show you on the All right. screen here. Come on. Upstream. One point. Black bottom right there. There's, check out my, there's one car, right there. Yep, totally a car, I can see through the windshield, or through the window, right there. Coming up on a second one. This one's possibly on side, right there. It looks kind of like a boat, I think that's a boat. Oh, yeah. Okay, two, coming up on our marker over here. By a marker, I did not see. I think we are not over it. So that yeah, we passed. Out. Mm -hmm. I got like three or four cars right here. Did you get those too? Yeah, grab some. We got some more. <laughs> I mean, we're here to get them all out. There's, there's a lot to mark. Okay, here we are, back on it. Yeah. Okay, so a little further out. Almost there, ready. Right here is right uh, there. the first car. That one is pretty old. That one's on its, on its wheels. It's right side up. We are going with the stream, so we're going a little fast. Come up on a second car. This is the one I said it was probably a boat. Still looks like a boat. And then the last car, this is the one we're going to mark. I see tires, possibly. Twelve feet deep. And that last one I missed. We're gonna mark the car now. First, I want to show you this one right here, and then we'll hover over it and make it happen. Okay, dropping 13 feet. Okay, we're coming up on our tree. Up our tree. Huh. That passed I had nothing. A little bit further out, I think. There's one right under us, right here. Okay, we're going to try right. to grab that one. This is our first one, the tree one. Four feet deep. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, so 
what I don't really understand is right, oh, right oh, here, yeah, right there. Beautiful picture. I got it marked mentally where it is. <laughs> see if we can see this on live scale. Oh yeah! Got it. Well, First. now I can see my magnet uh, on the screen, so oh, nice. it's gonna be easy. I gotta get down to 24 feet, though. Oh wow, is that deep? Yeah. Okay, on bottom. Oh, I, oh, I'm on it. Got it. <laughs> Snag. Oh, we got an anchor. <laughs> A big old car is an anchor. Right on. So this is the important part so our divers don't get tangled in this. Keep it nice and taut. Also want to give them a nice line to go down on. Go right over it. So we have attached our magnet. Uh, peek your head over and see it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice and bright, huh? I see it. Wow. Oh, you're paddle. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, there's already a loop on it. Look. This one was just set up for a 24 foot deep fly. How loop. about that? Nice. <laughs> it's meant to be. It's meant to be. <laughs> so now we gotta make sure this one. Here. That should work. Nice. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Mark. Time <laughs> cards out here, man. Yeah, first time. Just <laughs> stoked. <laughs> so, what, what is your background? Uh, volunteer fire and uh, search and rescue out of Southwest Colorado. So, Tell me your name. I'm William Cody Causey. Sweet man, where you at? Uh, Durango, outside of Durango, Colorado, right. on a mesa. So, How far was your drive today? Uh, about 13 hour drive. No I, way! Yeah, I did it in two days, but when I left it was like negative 10 degrees, so oh. it's just so refreshing to be able to go where there's no, everything's not frozen, stuck in ice. So, <laughs> so grateful to be here. Glad you're here, man. Yeah, Thanks buddy. Thanks for helping. Anything behind I, the scenes, too. Yeah, get my feet wet right off the bat. This is great. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me earlier, but uh, me and Carson were filming uh, Jared and Doug out in the boat. Jared goes, Josh, you got sonar, you might as well turn it on and see if you can find some cars. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Eventually, the purpose video.